Yeah. I don't want to watch that Michael Jackson thing. First of all, it's weird because he's not fence. alive. He's not alive to defend himself, so it's Correct. weird. It's also stories, and you know, <sighs> people tell the truth in stories sometimes, and sometimes they don't, and you don't know. You don't know. And, and also, there was, you know, like, it was always weird. Like, people, no one knew why, with all the rumors that everybody had ever heard about Michael Jackson, that anybody would let their kids go and hang out with him. Like, Dude, what is, when you watch the documentary, you're like, these parents are fucking morons. I don't get it, man. Two of the fathers have committed suicide since <gasps> this happened. Oh, man. Jesus what? Christ. How, wait, but the, we, we don't have any hard oh. evidence that he was molesting kids, right? All we have is rumors. Well, here's the and thing. And in court, he was, a, he was acquitted. Here's the problem. The doctor, his very doctor, said that he was chemically castrated. You're talking about the guy who killed him? Yes. Yeah. That guy said he was chemically castrated by his parents to protect his voice. So you have no testosterone, right? Exactly. Not just no testosterone. So do you still bust eunuch. nuts? I mean, me? I don't think so. One of the other weird things I saw that was like facts you should hear know from the documentary was that he had uh, some, something to do with the sound in the room. He, the hallway leading up to his bedroom was wired so that footprints would make a ding-dong sound in the room. It's just a f very strange thing to just have in general for any purpose. But, but if you grow up in the spotlight, because remember, he was such a big star, you might have some anxiety. Right, maybe he didn't want anybody walking in on him naked or something. Or you but, don't want anyone walking in while yeah. you're touching boys. It could be that. Look, who the fuck we knows? Don't know we don't know. We don't know. However, what do you think, Jamie? I'm just, Am I, I off? No, I, no, I'm just saying some of the facts I'm remembering. He spent like 30 straight nights with like a 12-year-old at his at his house, mm -hmm. in between that kid's mom's house and his dad's house, because mm -hmm. they were divorced. And there's so much paying for so many There's of so much video. There's so much stuff, video of yeah. him and this little boy holding hands. And the boy in the video goes, yeah, we would hold hands and we had a signal. We'd rub each other's palms when we were thinking sexually about each other. <laughs> oh. Oh. However, you got to chalk it up to the shitty parents. Because if John Legend came to my house, I was like, dude, I love Tiger. You mind if I take him out for a little while? But like, it's your goddamn mind. Right. You're not going anywhere. Well, not only kid. that, and John Legend's not a pedophile. No, I'm or just not known. But, but they didn't know Michael Jackson was that. But everybody knew there was something up. Not at the time. He was f the biggest star in the world back then in the yes. 90s. I remember. People knew yeah. some shit was In up. the 90s? Yeah. No. Yes. He yes. made good music, you fucks. No, 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 no. I know no, he did, no, but no. Everybody also. knew something was weird. Really? I didn't. He was always I hanging celebrated. around with kids. Yeah, because he loved you to were younger, kids. You're younger than us. Way younger. You got to trust me. <laughs> <You're really laughs> we're the same age. <laughs> True. Like the same month almost. And, and you knew something was up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamie's more on the ball than you. So he's always online. You're out getting pussy. James online. Legit point. <laughs> Legit point. Legit. Well, well played, sir. Well played. I just feel like it's too weird. It's too weird to let your kids hang out with this grown man <clears throat> all, all those times. I, I think he was mentally ill. They, and what his family says, they go, no, no, no. A lot of you are confusing him for being, he didn't have a childhood. His dad robbed right. him of his childhood. I think that's true, So too. inside, he felt like he was nine years old, so he missed out on the sleepovers and video games. So he would get friends with kids, and I think as that's I'm saying out too. loud, I'm, it's batshit crazy. Batshit crazy. I think all those things that you're saying are true, but I also think it's true that he was probably chemically castrated. I really think that's true, because I've said that a long time ago. I said, <laughs> yeah, I think he's a castrato. The way he's, his voice is, why, why, tell him that it's human nature. It, it's just the, that voice is just not a man's voice. It's not even a falsetto <laughs> yeah, voice. It's Joe, like a woman's voice. If he's castrated, then when, he would have zero testosterone to molest yeah. kids. Yeah, well, he might not have been doing it because he was horny. He might have been doing it because he was just weird. Well, these kids said he was busting nuts. The kids in the video said like he would jack himself off in front of them. Boy. It, it'll make you sick to your his, stomach. His, though, not his wife, but the woman that gave birth to his two kids said she never had sex with him. Yeah, that's more likely. I don't know. <sighs> if you're chemically castrated, that means your body doesn't produce any testosterone anymore, but it doesn't mean you can't shoot it into your body. And, you know, you could, you could shoot test into your body. And but but if you your, have no nut, nuts, you're not making semen. Yeah, if your balls are dead. But you... Is it semen or sperm? Yeah, it's a setting. Sperms from the nuts, and then like your prostate, and there's some other things that get the juice together. <laughs> the juice. I don't know. I'm just like, <laughs> the juice. I'm not a doctor, obviously. Either. <laughs> Clearly, is that a technical term? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
The whole thing is fucking super <laughs> weird. It's super water. weird. It just makes me sad. It makes me so sad. But Here's it's the also thing. there's like a there's a there's a lesson to be learned there in so many different ways. But one of the big lessons to be learned is that you never want to be that famous. That that was my takeaway. I, I, when I was watching my girl. I go, can you imagine being that famous? And she goes, yeah, it's probably awesome. Like, no, hold on. You know how we like to go to the mall? We like to go out to eat? That's gone. You can't do that anymore. Yeah, that's you, all gone. That's all gone. People would, would, would start a riot. They'll take, they'll take that away from you. Yeah. Your normal life is not it, over. You just stay in your house. <sighs> but he, yeah, he, that's why he developed an amusement park. Like he made his house a fucking amusement park. What they, you uh, they, had, they set this up for him to go grocery shopping. Wow. They had a fake... They emptied a grocery store and paid people to be uh, shoppers so he could have the experience of what it's like to be normal what? going through like a, a Ralph's or whatever. Yeah. Dude, and like have interactions with people like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> what are you oh, getting some bread? Jesus, look how weird this is. <laughs> well, they should make it realistic. Like LA, got, like, so he off. hired people. Yeah, I don't know how so often he could they do did that. It, but and he wore people. a hat mm -hmm. and he's dancing around the. It's. He's everything, so weird. everything was weird, man. Everything was. Don't weird. Don't you feel bad for him though? Oh yeah, so weird. You know how much he's worth? I don't know. One point seven billion dollars, they say. But that's after he died. See, the thing was is, it? when he died, he got super rich. He was actually in the hole before he died. No, because yeah, there's, because there's like MC touring. Hammer broke. Where when he talked to MC Hammer, he's like, "What are you talking about?" He's like, "There's like, you know, publicists broke where they release that you go bankrupt." He mm -hmm. goes, "I was fine. I was balling." Hmm. I think it was Michael Jackson. Yeah, how he, he owned the Beatles catalog. Oh, so that's where he had all his money? He bought all the originals, the masters of his and the Beatles. Mm, yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, Paul McCartney was mad about that, apparently. Uh, he told he gave him the idea. Paul gave him the idea? <laughs> and he's like, oh, g good idea. I'll, I'll be right back. So why, why, why didn't Paul buy it? He's got money. I couldn't they afford it. Probably, he has one fourth of the Beatles money not all of it combined you know right do you right. think how, do you, there's, no, you, there's no stars like Michael Jackson now you can't right you can't do it in current society hmm there's there's pockets now he also owned happy birthday he owned happy birthday yeah, he bought the rights to it so wow. that's why you weren't you're not allowed to sing it in a restaurant I feel like that's over <sighs> I think yeah. you can say it now you can now because it's back into the public domain mm. but, or maybe after he died yeah. it became dude that's why everyone sings the bullshit dude, happy, birthday. Happy, yeah. happy birthday happy 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 I think uh, <laughs> like ASCAP or BMI could literally come in and just find the restaurant Holy if you were singing shit. that yeah. and yeah. that's because of Michael that's so stupid dude what a baller move it's copyright owning man, happy so birthday I want all the money give it to me too bad he doesn't like bitches because that'd be the biggest move ever Maybe he did like bitches. Who knows? Well, let's, I who knows? Bet he, the guy's dead. He can't defend Have himself. Have some respect, Shab. Here's Jeez. the thing: those two dudes who were doing it, they were one was the key witness when he got away in court. What dudes? The dudes in the documentary. The two are oh, like, oh, oh, we got molested. The one was the number one key witness who's saying he didn't get molested. Okay, well and then now, he shouldn't be able to say anything. And both of them were witnesses. Because that means they should go to like, jail. And now they're like, well, no, that's not true. We were young, bitch. You were 20 How old was he? He was in his 20s? Yeah. Well, also, like, isn't that perjury? It means he lied in court? Be fucked. You can't lie in court either way, one way or the other. You can't lie to protect somebody, and you can't lie to accuse someone either. You can't lie. I don't know what the deal is with that. I mean, that seems like that's something <clears throat> they could drag him to court for. And the Jackson came out and went, well, isn't it convenient you guys are coming out now when you're in financial trouble? Ah, uh, of course. Yeah, of course. 